T stands for Gran Turismo, which is exactly that. It says high speed and luxurious riding, but much more of a rider emphasis. So it's a more sporty ride, it's a more dynamic ride. The motorcycle is very agile by comparison to the GTL. It's got a harder suspension, more firm and so on. And uh, the ride is more in a forward position, which is what you want if you want to go very fast over long distances. And it's clearly a motorcycle which has got more the European market in mind than maybe the American market. It also gives very good two-up rides, uh, but in comparison to the GTL, of course, it's a compromise. six-cylinder inline engine which is only fractionally wider than our current 1300 four-cylinder. The challenge was how do you bring that engine successfully in a motorcycle and uh, actually our work that we've done just previously with the development of the superbike helped us a lot because in the superbike both weight as well as size and packaging is critical and what we've learned in terms of production processes we could apply in the six-cylinder now as well. And that tells you something about the design and the processes that went into making the engine so narrow and so light. It also helped that because it's a touring engine, you want torque, and torque means you want stroke. And of course, the longer the stroke is in the engine, the smaller the bore is, and that meant the cylinders became smaller, and there's only between cylinders about five millimeters. So we managed to keep that overall length dimension, which is critical to that very small size. Besides the size element of the engine, it's also important where you place the engine. So we used a dry sump, and by using a dry sump we could lower the engine, and that lowered in turn the center of gravity. The engine's also leaning forward by 35 degrees, which further make the engine going towards the bottom of the motorcycle. And uh, the motorcycle is not only much, much lighter, but a rider has got this combined advantage of sitting low, therefore feet flat on the ground, a low overall weight bike and a very low centre of gravity motorcycle.